Good morning, Ian Bailey here, and behind me is the great Pacific Ocean. Now, I just wanted to connect with you guys because I just wanted to express how very, 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 very grateful I am. We have got 3,600 likes, which is impossible. It all happened in about an hour. Funny story, um, I was at 150 likes, and then all of a sudden I was at 3,500 likes. And um, I don't know how it happened. It happened in about 15 minutes. So, um, you know, if you happen to announce me at like a baseball game or at a giant conference in which in the matter of 20 minutes I can get 3,500 likes, please let me know. I will give you a high five and buy you a smoothie. But on the other hand, it looks like somebody did something, I don't know, I appreciate it, whether it was out of love or whatever it might have been. Thank you very much. But I would really prefer to play the game honestly. I'm all about honesty and integrity. So from now on, let's play it clean, folks. So once again, if somebody announced me on the Jumbotron at a baseball game, thank you. On the other hand, let's play clean. So. I'm here at the Pacific Ocean and I want to give you a few tips. Now I am shooting on my iPhone. Now what's interesting about the iPhone is, is there are a couple of different tools you can use. For instance, a microphone and a tripod because clearly I am hands free. Now there's different tools you can use. Go online, find them, use them because they do make the experience of using an iPhone much easier when it comes to it. And I will also be editing this so that you will see that I will jump different places. For instance, right now. Oh my God, it's the Pacific Ocean all by itself. That's amazing. How did he do that? And I'm back again. And I'm back. So there's some amazing tools that you can use to edit on your iPhone. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to them, to operate them and work with them. So that's a little tip for the day on how to use an iPhone. The tip is to get the proper equipment that you need. Usually you need a microphone, a tripod, and a little stand. And sometimes you have a little case and they have lights and all that kind of stuff because the lighting isn't fantastic right now because that's because the sun's high in the sky and I'm going to shoot right now. So, here is the joke. Um, I need a joke. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, and then I'm gonna look up the joke, and then I'm gonna get back to you guys, all right? Okay, so I got the jokes. These jokes are amazing. You can use them at parties. They're real popular. What do you call a chicken that crosses the playground? Excuse me, no, that's not right at all. Why did the chicken cross, cross the playground? That's, that's a better question. To get to the other slide. You got it out there? Slide. I got more, I got more. Be bear with me. What do you call a pig that knows karate, a pork chop. Yeah, these are these are awesome. <laughs> I got them on the kids' website. So tell them to your nieces and nephews. Um, why was the bee's hair sticky? Because he used a honeycomb. Get it, honeycomb. Yep, they're all winners. So you feel free to tell those at parties to your nieces to nephews to whoever, you know you're gonna use that at a bar one day or like out and about or like wherever you're at. So you know you're totally gonna use that one day at like, at like just to like like a party joke or something like that. Don't deny it, you're gonna totally use the pork chop one. How does a, what do you call a pig that knows karate a pork chop? You're gonna use it, don't even deny it. So once again, I wanna thank you guys for supporting me. Remember, you can vote every day. Vote, vote, vote on johntaru.com. I would really be grateful and humble for the opportunity to be a chief world explorer because you get to travel and you get to volunteer and you get to share and you get to have fun and I really think it would be an opportunity that I could excel at and hopefully contribute to a lot of people's lives. So thank you for being awesome. Remember you're a 10 and if you want to please apply for this position as well. Um, I don't see it as a competition but it's cooperation because the more people know about volunteer tourism I think the better because you need to get out there, you need to discover, you need to see how other people are living and doing, whether it's in Bolivia or Thailand or even in your backyard. Get out there and meet people and explore and volunteer and travel to do it. So please, uh, I'm all about cooperation. Sign up for this thing, give it your best shot. 
you may be more qualified than you think and I would applaud you if you win and then maybe ask you to take me along with you. But I will uh, be continuing to give you tools that might actually assist you in getting this type of job or if you want to document your own experiences. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any more questions or if you need more specifics or anything like that. I would be happy to answer those questions. Remember, you're a 10, act like a 10, walk like a 10, talk like a 10 because you are a 10. Believe in yourself and what you're doing. My name's Ian and you have a great day.